Oof. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. VGC Series 2 is live on Pokemon Showdown. We're testing the Moth team. Uh, it's it's just, you know, booster energy, first impression, Terra Fire, Flame Charge, Moth. Uh, we have Palafin here. You know, I feel like Moth really supports Rain really well because it allows you to beat Grass types a lot easier. Uh, and it also helps out with Trick Room matchups quite a bit for that first impression. Uh, we have Amoongus to be Amoongus. <laughs> we have uh, Defiant Assault Vest King Gambit with Guillotine because that's the best set. Trust me, it is. And we, of course, have Focus Sash, uh, Trick Room, Masquerada. Let's do it. It's my first game on the ladder. All right, check this out. Accept open team sheets. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna accept open team sheets? Please accept open team sheets. All right, I think we always lead off with Standy McMoth Pants. Cause Standy McMoth Pants looks really good here. Uh, and Palafin. Actually, I could do Standy McMoth Pants and, King and, uh, and Masquerada. That seems fairly safe on the lead. Yeah, I should always get off Trick Room then, uh, unless they get off with like Haxorus. And I bring like King Gambit Amoongus. Okay, they didn't accept the open team sheets. Sad. Uh, first impression of Masquerada Trick Room here. Get rid of him. He's out of here. He's out of here. Nice Trick Room. Or nice Tailwind, Stinky. Nice Tailwind. You would have known I had this. You would have known if you accepted open team sheets, but you didn't. Now look at you. All smelly and such. All right. Uh, my King Gambit looks like he goes crazy. And I think I have to Terra Fire or Terra Dark to beat this thing. So let's just... Let's just double the Skeledurge, to be honest. A little bit of damage there. Torch Song. This will go first. Knockoff's going to do decent damage. Oh, never mind. It's not. It's not going to do decent damage. Okay. Uh, let's get... Let's think. I'm willing to sack Amoongus because I think that uh, Standing McMoth Pants can win the game. And I'm just going to go for another knockoff. Because he's in range of like Terra Dark Sucker Punch. Yeah. Normal. That's fine. Uh, he's now within first impression range, I'm fairly certain. I'm also just slower than it. So I could Terra Dark, Kowtow Cleave. I think I just, like, win. Right? Here. Let's first impression. Ooh. Wait, this is kind of rough. Maybe I don't... Maybe I Terra Fire here, right? To survive the hit from Kilowattril? Alright, this is going to be a crazy play, right? This is going to be a crazy play that you all think I'm crazy for doing. First impression, Kata Cleave. They protect. That's fine. Alright. Now I go for the Flame Charge. They get the Discharge Paralysis, which kind of sucks. But I Flame Charge here. And I still Kowtow Cleave. Actually, Iron Head might be better. <sighs> Let me think. Iron Head could flinch it, but Kowtow Cleave is more likely to KO. Right, that really sucks, but not the end of the world. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to Flame Charge Annihilate, and I'm going to Sucker Punch it, because it should attack. Because now I outspeed Kilowattril. Uh, and I don't know if they want a Tailwind here. Kind of sucks I got paralyzed, though.
Oh, I got the I got the crit. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. Air slash doesn't KO. Alright, alright, we're good. We're good. Um This guy could protect, right? But I think I always win with King Gambit now. Because he's within close combat range. So what I do here is how much do the flame charge do? 53%. Yeah, I just flame charge here. And I go for a kowtow cleave. Or actually sucker punch, technically. No, I kowtow cleave. Let's go, dude. The flame charge came in clutch. Flame charge came in clutch there. GG. That was crazy. All right. Accept open team sheets. You will accept it too. Accept the open team sheet. I heard that the, uh, the rate right now is like 1 in 10 players is accepting open team sheets. All right. Uh, Standing McMoth pants looks phenomenal, but I have to be really careful with the uh, with the the terrain. Let's go! All right. So we got life orb, trick room, safety goggles. Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. Uh, good news is I should be able to one shot this Indeedy with leech life. I think. And I can just lead off like Palafin in the in the boys. Uh, and I think I bring King Gambit. Alright, yeah. Uh, I just go for the Leech Life. Onto the Indeedee. And I think I hard switch in King Gambit. I could Terra Fire here. And that helps me out quite a bit. I think I'm going to Terra Fire. Nah. Nah, I don't do that. I just go hard King Gambit. Because if they trick room here, I'm like set. That's a one shot. Phenomenal. They trick room? Okay. Alright. Alright. That's the Iron Hands. Uh, I can Terra Dark to take the hit, but I, obviously that's like not the best. I think in this situation, they should probably be pretty invested in... Oh, I'm like really weak to Iron Hands, aren't I? Let me think. Let me think. So I can go into King Gambit here on like the close combat. But I have to like tear a fire to live a hit. But I think I do that. So there are four turns of Psychic Terrain. Let me think. He's Leftovers, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Rock Sled. He has Protect on him. I'm gonna do it. Alright, got that play right. Armor Cannon, gonna eat that up. Let's see this Chaos. Should do a lot. Alright, this Pokemon's insane, dude. This Pokemon's actually insane. I think here, because he's Life Orb, it's in my best interest to get as much damage off in the Iron Hands as possible. So I actually close combat, and I protect. Because I think Sandy McMoth Pants can need a hit. And I speed tie with Iron Hands under Trick Room. Alright, don't flinch me. Ooh! No, it's going to KO. Alright. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's use our heads here. Let's use our heads. What's my best wing con? My best wing con here is I just go for the iron head. Actually, maybe I guillotine. <laughs> Let me think. We're the, we're the same speed, most likely. I could guillotine. I could guillotine here. That'd be crazy. Oh, I'm gonna guillotine. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, man. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Alright. I think I win. I don't see how they come back from that. I don't see how they come back from a gamer play like that. Guillotine gaming. Can I get a guillotine in chat? Can I get a guillotine in chat for that one? 
that was crazy. All right. I think they're just sad now. <laughs> I want a speed tie and I got the guillotine. That's a 15% chance of getting both of those. Uh, I always just like Iron Head and Drain Punch here. No, I Iron Head and I Protect. Still does so much. Yeah. Kowtow Cleave. Drain Punch. Nice. Hoggers. Hoggers. All right. Whew. Yeah, Moth is gaming pretty good here. Oh, this looks like a Moth game if I've ever seen one, and I it, it might not be, to be honest. It might not be, because that, that guy's kind of scary. Actually, this whole team is very scary to Mr. Moth. <laughs> this whole team's extremely scary to Mr. Moth the more I look at it. Uh, but I can save my Protosynthesis turn one. Okay, so I think what I actually use the Moth to do here... Accept it! Accept it! No, he's not gonna accept it. Okay. Uh, I go Trick Room here. Yeah. Okay. So... How do I effectively utilize this Trick Room? Um... Let me think. Ooh, can I even get it off? Butterman has me pretty scared. I flame charge here because if I flame charge, I actually outspeed them uh, next turn if they decide not to go for an attack. If they decide uh, to not double attack. So yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, wait, I might have screwed up. I get outsped. Well, maybe. Okay, I got nade. I've been nade on. I can Terra Dark Sucker Punch, and that should one shot Fluttermane. Boom Burst does damage to him. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Protect your Torkoal, Stinky. I think it's Choice Spec, so he's probably going to protect. Let's go! This should one-shot. Yeah, okay. This is still doable. This is still doable. Depending on what's in the back. Because I have Tailwind up. Scovillain. Uh, Scovillain is most likely... Not Sash. I don't think it's Sash. I think Sucker Punch should do it from this range, but I'm really scared. I'm really scared to do this. Uh, <laughs> I have like no choice, do I? Fail the Sucker Punch, they're going to Sleep Powder me? Oh, they're going to Growth. Okay, can I connect? Let's go! Fluttermane is definitely Protosynthesis. It's, it's going to attack here. So I should always Sucker Punch it. And Hurricane here. And I basically just have to connect. Or actually... Do I take it? It depends. Uh, is it plus special attack or speed? I can't read that. Speed. Okay. Uh, King Gambit might be able to eat one. I think I win. Yeah, I don't think you eat this. This is pretty strong. I think I just barely snuck that one. Unless they're like super bulky. They have to outplay all my sucker punches. Nope. Good game. Alright, GG. GG. Yeah, I am going to go to Orlando. Have to open team sheets. You too, you too, sir. You basically know they're not going to accept open team sheets as soon as they turn on the timer. 
I really like Stanley McMoth pants in this game. He looks kind of crazy, actually. Look at all the things I can, like, first impression. Two. But look at all the things I can close combat. Two. And the flame charge? Two. Three. I don't think he's going to accept it. <laughs> I don't think he's going to accept it. Okay. Uh, my first impression looks crazy. And I lead off Palafin. I go Pelipper. And he doesn't seem to have an answer to King Gambit once uh, this guy's down. And I don't want to bring Masquerada. So yeah, King Gambit. I think my Palafin's going to be like my saving grace in this match. You know? All right. Ormanite Sandy Shocks. Uh, so funny enough, I think I just Flame Charge. I think I just Flame Charge and I like go King Gambit. Or actually, I could double the Corviknight and try to KO, but it's really tough. And I think that's actually a bad idea. Let's go King Gambit. Bolt Switch. Please go into Torkoal. Please, please go into Torkoal. I beg you. Florges, that's fine. It's going to be like Symbiosis Florges, right? Rocky Helmet. There's the Tailwind. Um, I should still outspeed. I actually think I double the Florges, funny enough. This is a decent amount. Ironhead should do it unless they like body press me. Barely survived that. Come on. They roost. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Stanley McMoth pants. Thank you, sir. He's got to have body press, right? He's got to have body press. All right. Uh, I outspeed. I don't outspeed Sandy Shocks. But I think Sucker Punch is really good. Ooh, do I go Pelipper here? And like try to leech life Sandy Shocks? That's not a bad idea if I, like, manage to outspeed somehow. But I think I do go Pelipper. The Earth Power Beam, that's fine. So now I get him the Palafin. And he shouldn't have anything to switch into this. And I just go for, like, Guillotines into Corviknight. Because I don't think he has Body Press if he's running this set. He should have Iron Head. All right, let's see. He's gone. He's done. Done your rings. He's probably Choice Scarf. I can also bulk up on him. Max Caliber. Uh, kind of rough. But I think I'm good. I think I bulk up here. And... Protect. Swords Dance, okay. A Tailwind. Okay, uh, I'm going to Drain Punch and Helping Hand. And that might put it in range of my thing. Actually, what is stronger? Jet Punch, In the Rain, and Stab. That's 1.5 times 1.5. 60 times 1.5 times 1.5 divided by 2 67 Dray punch is better wave rush I barely live that oh my god gonna get all my health back he's gone he's done he's done <laughs> all right yeah uh I protect here and I go for hurricane for a confusion that's why you run Bulky Palafin, dude. That's why you run Bulky Palafin. Go for the Iron Head. I think I just beat it. Confusion? No confusion. Uh, King Gambit should just win, though. I just spam Drain Punch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if they roost there, they lost. Nice. Still doing really good. Yeah, that Glaive Rush boost was crazy. Got the whole KO. 
This guy gives off, I'm going to accept the open team sheets vibes. This guy gives off, I, I'm, I'm comfortable with my team. I know I can win with the open team sheet. He's going to accept it. All right. Um, I actually don't like the Sandy McMoth dance lead. I like it in the end game a lot, though. Yeah, it could be really good for picking up a KO versus this guy. Uh, let's go with the King Gambit lead, actually. That looks really good. And Palafin. Pelipper, Standy McMoth Pants. I like it. I like this lead. I enjoy this lead quite a bit, actually. Uh, a little concerned what the Screamtail's gonna do. Pretty concerned, uh, but I think I can always Iron Head here. And go into Pelipper. Because these priority moves are going to go crazy. Dazzling Gleam. That doesn't do anything. Iron Head does a ton. Nice. Alright. Uh, they should Rage Powder away the hit. But I think if that's the case, I just like... Kowtow, Cleave, and Helping Hand. Uh, Do I Terra here? I don't Terra. Big tears. That's fine. Oh, this thing's gone. No chance you live this. All right. Well, now he's in sucker punch range. Good enough. Uh, I did get burnt, which kind of sucks, but I'm still good for the end game. Uh, so here I'm going to just double up on you. I might need to tear but I want to save it. I think I KO. Encore. All right. Uh. Let's sucker punch and go into Standy McMoth pants. Bail, he's just going to go for it again. That's fine. Uh, first impression range. Very good. I go into Palafin now. And I break this this stalemate. Because I always first impression the uh the scream tail. Yep. That's a KO. That's Standy McMoth pants for you. That's Standy McMoth pants for you guys. Alright. Uh let's go for a protect. And I'm going to go for the Terrastalize Flame Charge into this guy, even though I know it's going to get redirected. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, let's go King Gambit here. I can sack him. I go for the Flame Charge into... Into... Uh, Fluttermane, I, I go for Volcarona, even if they protect, I'm fine. Yeah, I should eat the hit unless they're like specs. No, I just outspeed because they're not proto, proto uh, synthesis boosted. Let's go, Standy McMoth pants. Dude, I think Standy, I think Standy McMoth pants needs an emote. I think he's earned an emote at this point. I love this Pokemon so much. He's such a cute guy. Such a cute little dude. All right, let's see. Uh, so they have Ferrigaraf, which I absolutely hate because I have so much priority on my team. Let's see. Uh, GLHF. Safety goggles, Ferrigaraf. Uh, honestly, I think that actually the Standy McMoth Pants lead is good for like one-shotting Ferrigaraf as long as they don't Terra. Actually, close, close combat does a lot. Uh, let me think. Let's do Standy McMoth Pants. And I operate under Trick Room better than they do. I think. Questionably. I questionably operate better under Trick Room. But I lead off Sandy McMoth Pants. And I think I go with like uh, King Gambit. Because I can feign a lot of my like lead moves. Or I can reverse Trick Room on them turn one. That's another option. I think I might do that. Yeah. Uh, then in the back I bring like King Gambit. And 
If I get rid of you, then like Palafin goes crazy. Uh, Safety Goggles Pelper is also really good. But it's bad in like everything else, I think. Uh, This is rough. Let's do... Is Rage Powder good? Let's do Rage Powder. Okay. Not the end of the world, actually. I can actually Trick Room pretty easily here, I think. Yeah, because I close combat here. I don't first impression at all, and I trick room. I have a decent amount of special defense. I can live a hit. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, let's just do it again. They basically have to sack something to me. Nothing really switches in on that except for Fluttermane. And if that's the case, I'm just going to go for knockoff. Because even if this doesn't work, I get the knockoff gets a re like even if they go into like Fluttermane, right? Or if this like if they stay in and just get KO'd, the knockoff gets redirected into Murkrow, sending it in Rage of First Impression soon. Sorry, I really like that a lot. They have to like get a double protect to get anything out of this. Alright, nice. I get rid of the bundle, which is like my biggest fear. Knockoff? That does so much. Wow. Foul play. Breaks my sash. Uh. Terra Water Amoongus looks like it cleans up this game. I think I lean into that. Yeah, Terra Water Amoongus looks really good. Uh, probably gonna lose both of my mods. No, that isn't how I win, is it? Because he's just going to do the thing versus me. Do I have to hold on to Sandy McMoth Pants? Because he's in first impression range. Ooh. I'm going to sack King Gambit and protect. Oh wait, the Murkrow doesn't even have like the move it needs to win. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, no, I just Terra Water here. Spore. Terra Water Spore, and I can win with Standing McMoth Pants now. I go for a double protect though. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't even need to protect here. I just Terra Water Spore because they still have a turn of Trick Room. And I should be able to just get Insane McMoth Pants, like, for free. I forgot to check if they even had Protect. Um, Torkoal has Protect. So I think here I just... I get in Moth Pants, yeah. Because they're going to be in first impression range. All right. Um. Huh. I spore again, and I think I. That's really tough. I think I have to first impression Flutterman. I could also flame charge. That'd be a crazy play. Ooh. My first impression. Alright. Gonna lose Standing Big Moth Pants. Mungus Eats. Alright. Go for another Spore. Because it's probably D Gleam. No, maybe I just Rage Powder and go for the KO. I think I lose. Oh, I'm just faster. I'm just faster. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um. Somewhat doable? Somewhat doable.
He has to like not wake up this turn for me to win. Because I just double attack the Murkrow. Yeah, here's how I win. Um, clear Smog, Flower Trick, don't wake up. Stays asleep. Uh, I go for another Spore because they're guaranteed to wake up this turn and I should live the hit just barely because there's no sun. Oh, maybe I'm a little stupid. Actually, I think knockoff's not bad either. I can try to win with clear smog, because I spore here. I'm gonna get rid of the charcoal. It's gonna help a little bit. Can I live? Nope. This is gonna be really close. It comes down to if I can KO with clear smogs. I need to get three turns of sleep. The first one's guaranteed, so I actually only need two, I think. Oh, it's a will tank. I didn't realize it was will tank. Oh, no, I think I lose. Well, if I get three turns of sleep, I can do it. Come on. Crit, crit, crit. <laughs> Actually, no, I protect her. And now I spore. Please. <laughs> One turn of sleep is all I ask. One turn. No, he woke up. He woke up. GG, well played. Oh, man. We we're doing so good. We we're on like a crazy winning streak. You know what? Had I knocked off earlier, I would have won. I, I like completely miscounted my sleep turns. I completely miscounted my sleep turns. All right. Yo, it's it's Standy McMoth Pants time. Look at all of his Standy McMoth Pants switchins. Point point to his his dedicated Standy McMoth Pants switchin. Let me do a very important calc. Uh, versus what's his name? Iron Bundle. It's four HP. What if I helping hand it? That's a one shot. Okay, I have a new favorite Pokemon. I have a new favorite Pokemon. That's always my lead now. That is always my lead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Palafin. Okay, Gambit. All right, do you have Protect? He's not gonna tell me. That being said, I don't particularly care. I don't particularly care. Check this out. He wants to freeze dry me so bad. He wants to freeze dry me so bad, dude. Shia Kazing. <laughs> He's gone. He's done. I eat that up like Reese's Puffs. Oh, that felt good. He's choice banded too. Roaring Moon. That's another first impression. That's another first impression that I can go for, man. That's another first. I just tailwind here. I just tailwind here. All right, uh, let's get in King Gambit. And I'm going to Tailwind. All right. Moonblast, give me a Defiant Boost. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dragon Claw, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I got my Tailwind off. There's nothing more I could ask for. All right. Um, I go for Sucker Punch here. Onto the Flutter Man. And this kind of feels like a good time to get in Palafin, to be honest. Yeah. Because I shouldn't have to take a hit. Oh! They crit me. That kind of sucks. That being said... <laughs> that being said... It's time. We don't know if he has Protect. We don't know if he has Protect, but, uh, should be able to do this. Just go for Iron Head onto Meowth Scarada. First impression, you. Actually, 
I think I just first impression of the Masquerada. And Iron Head U. Oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> he just got Standy McMoth pantsed. I'm crazy at this game. I I just am. All right, uh, Sucker Punch is always the correct play. Because I just go for damage. I need to get another first impression going. Stanley McMoth Pants remains goaded. He's an insane Pokemon. Terra Poison. Silly Goose. Silly Goose. <laughs> Moth time. <laughs> Stanley McMoth Pants is is a is a crazy like insane top of the food chain predator and everything else, everything else is a moth or everything else is a lamp and he is a moth. There are lamps in a moth's world. Anyways, I think we're gonna call it there tonight. Thank you all for watching if you're watching live. Thank you all for watching if you're watching on YouTube too. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye, Sandy McMoth Pants forever.